um, I have a new torch. Uh, my dad got mom, for my dad's birthday. He got a new one, so I, that, no, his his one's my one now. Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Um, today we're just going to do a quick review of some bits and pieces that I got for my birthday. Uh, a new wet weather uh, fishing jacket, a new headlamp, and um, new Croc shoes. <laughs> Let's get straight into it. So first up, we've got these Shimano Ivers. Um, quite a few people have already been uh, wearing these out and about. I've seen them around. Plenty of people are fishing with them. My Crocs have had it. Uh, you would have seen them in plenty of my videos, but they've had it, and I needed a re uh, replacement. So these are nice and easy to uh, put on and take off. They've just got a single Velcro strap on the side here and um, they're super comfy all right um, so next up this little beauty here it's a lead lenser um, it's a thousand luminan thousand lumen torch um, it's the model number MH11 from lead lenser this thing has changed my night fishing life um, Previous torches, they all claim to be a certain number of lumens, etc. But uh, most of that's garbage. They heat up pretty quickly if you have them on for any period of time. This thing's fantastic. 1,000 lumens, one eighteen six fifty battery. Uh, rechargeable and nice and easy uh, to take in, on and off. This um, this section here is where the, uh, the battery lives, just inside here. And it's got a nice, easy compartment to slide the... Um, the battery in and out of and I just drop straight back into here just like that now um, to the torch itself on the front you've got this little um, focuser I'm gonna call it that allow that extends out like that and you get a more uh, fine beam and if you push it back in you get sort of a broad spectrum of torch light very cool. All right. Next up, we have a Savage Gear uh, wet weather jacket. Extra large because that's me. Um, now, just wanted to talk through some of the features on this one. First thing is. Um, in terms of materials, made out of 100% nylon on the outside and polyester on the inside. Um, it's machine washable, which is good once you get any uh, grossness on there. Um, and it's got plenty of pockets and storage space within it. You've got two chest pockets, just here and here. These are completely weatherproof, um, so no water is going to get inside there. You've got two hip pockets down here, there and there. which will be uh, plenty of space to carry some small tackle boxes with your lures or hooks or whatever else you might have, knives, um, lip grips, etc. Um, around the bottom, you have these uh, drawstrings, which will allow you to tighten this as much as you want to prevent, um, prevent too much air going up the bottom if it's a cold, windy day. Because I, I suspect I won't be wearing this as much in the rain as I will be wearing it in the wind. So you got these tags, just pull at them, and as you can see it tightens up. Which will give you a bit more protection from the wind. Nice and easily um, released as well, there's just a button here on the pulley, which allows you to release it, and then you can straighten it out again. Now, the, uh, the hoodie, or the... Uh, the peak is got a piece of wire inside here, which allows you to twist it and bend it to your liking. You can make it much like a cap. You can have it straight out, whatever you like. 
to protect yourself from, uh, say, a bit of um, wind and rain that might be coming at you. Now, this hoodie is detachable. So, if you feel like you just want to wear it as a jacket, you can without the hoodie on top. Now, in terms of taking this one off, nice and easy, pretty uh, interesting design here. Basically, you pull this out, and the top one slides out. That's that side done. You have to go to the other side, repeat the process. So, you're just pulling it out from the bottom, like that, and then the top one slides out. And now, like with uh, many jackets, we can just zip that hoodie off. Done. The other option you have here is on the neck. So, if you wanted to pack that hoodie away, you've got a pocket here, like so many jackets do. You put it in here, and you've got three Velcros to shut that, and it overlaps downways towards your feet, so that the water won't run into the pocket, it'll run off the jacket nice and easily. Um, in terms of warmth, it's fantastic. Um, it's probably something you'd be wearing over some other clothes anyway. So it's not overdone, it's not too warm, um, but it'll certainly do the job with some other clothes and uh, layers underneath. Also, uh, you've got these uh, well-designed sleeves. So down at your wrists, you've got this neoprene elastic um, to insulate in terms of keeping warmth in. But also, if it gets a bit wet, the water's not going to soak up and go up your sleeve. The neoprene will keep it all down there, um, down near your wrists. You've also got this uh, wrist strap, again with Velcro, which will allow you to keep this as tight as you need to or want to um, for, your, uh, for your comfort and fit. Um, so that's it. Uh, thanks for watching today. Um, the jacket was purchased from BCF, the Savage Gear jacket. Um, and the Shimano Iver and the LED Lens Alight, uh, they were both from Anaconda uh, with their end of financial year sale. So if, you, if you're in the market for any of these types of items, hopefully today's helped. And I'll see you on the next one. This is the Marley Hunter.